Hello, Western Civ 104. Um, welcome to week 10. And um, I hope you guys all had a good weekend. Um, so there's just a few things that I really need to address here that is really, really, really important. Uh, I have left many videos before mentioning that all videos must have notes all the time. So, especially when I'm talking in an announcement about uh, an important topic to, that's significant to the, the week's module. And so, I have a good chunk of you that didn't do any video notes on the Viking section that I have, that I made PowerPoints to, that I made. And even some of you, I, I actually left notes like saying, hey, um, you, you know, you're going to need to do more uh, notes, and um, it didn't happen. So I gave you very low points on your video notes. You need to understand, like, this is... It's not that I take it personal, but the fact of the matter is I take my class very serious. I know you're not going to be exposed to a lot of this information uh, after you leave my class. And... You know, when I don't see video notes, that means you didn't watch. That's that means you were you tuned out. And um, I've already made videos on this before. I posted even one for you guys to give you time on Sunday, and I still had some of you not giving me all video notes. I don't quite understand. So um, you're getting points accordingly. At some point, I may just do an all or nothing and say you're going to get full points for all videos or or not and sometimes i ask for more notes if it's a longer video okay so keep that in mind also if i have a video posted and the and the copyright says that it's blocked or gets t uh, removed from youtube then you need to contact me right away which many of you did that and i was able to get a replacement up for the very important topic so, um, if I want you to know about Charlemagne, I'm going to get you exposed to Charlemagne and we're going to deal with that. You, don't, you can't just uh, give me video notes and say, well, the, the, this one was no longer around and, and then remove it. So, please make sure that you uh, do that. And, um, you know, as a side note, hanging out at parks is always interesting, whether you're in Hong Kong or anywhere else. So... Anyhow, um, I made that clear enough. Uh, you know, also, I posted a lot of stuff on, on this um, issue of, of Vikings and uh, the embracement of white nationalism. And look what we even see what happened in New Zealand. Uh, um, a terrorist violence by white nationalists. And so I want you guys to be informed about how historical time periods get used in the modern uh, day setting and can be used in a very negative way, sometimes positive way. So some of the music that I showed you, uh, some videos that I posted, um, reflected, uh, you know, people celebrating a kind of uh, an imagination of a Germanic, you know, um, kind of pagan past. And then others do that with some sort of other more sinister uh, motives and um, that happened you know in Portland when I was living in Portland there was actually somebody who killed people with a knife um, claiming to be you know like some sort of modern Viking himself it's crazy but it's, this is what's happening so I want you guys to be uh, you know hip to all of this um, and now we're, we're going to be covering you know more about the, the, the West and the development of the church and these, uh, all of this history helps you understand about the past, you know, where we came from, and it puts together many things that you're going to see later on, like when you talk about World War One and World War Two, and some of the modern forms of nationalism that are, that are occurring now, are going to be linked, especially in Europe, to a lot of what we're uh, um, discussing and learning. So, uh, please take it serious as information that's going to help you be extremely informed in very tricky times. Um, I've mentioned this to all my classes and I'll say again that the issue of refugees 
um, and um, what's a nation state and who belongs is a huge topic now in many parts of the Western world. And I don't know if you noticed, but after this terrible tragedy of these, this, these guys massacring uh, these people at the mosque, there was an Australian uh, politician who actually blamed uh, the death of these um, victims at the mosque on, being, uh, on Islam and immigrants themselves. And uh, he ended up getting egged by uh, a young Australian um, but this is this is I mean this is how people talk now. This, what, if you if you wondered how we got to the point of World War II and the kind of politics that were coming out of World War II time period, uh, we're we're in the thick of these these, these we're, we're 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 living it right now, and it's important to think about what side you're on, uh, and and a way to look at the world. And again, I think the history class is going to help you really. Um, Put things in a broader perspective. So um, that's all I really have to say about that. Um, again, most of the work you're doing fine. I know that it gets difficult. You have a lot of obstacles in your way, but please, please, please keep working hard at staying in the class. I actually don't require you to memorize a lot of things. I grade based on you participating and being involved, and that means watching the videos, doing the discussions. And um, this week, there was last week there was only an extra credit assignment for a paper even, and I let you guys have till Sunday to do the video notes. So um, make sure you don't lose your momentum. Stay on board with me, and if you have any questions, you have any problems, let me know. Okay, um, and uh, I hope you have a good rest of your week.